How did Shweta Gangwar help me to solve this problem of phone addiction? So after reading his book, rudest book ever, and watching tons of videos of Shweta Gangwar, what I finally realized is sometimes we don't need a solution to the problem. Sometimes we just have to see the problems from different perspective, and we end up solving the problem. So I did the same for my problem of phone addiction. जानता हूँ ना solution क्या इसका? इसका आपको address करना है objectively. Of your own tendency, मेरी खुद की टेंडेंसी एस्केपिज्म के प्रति क्यों है मैं दो घंटे क्यों आउट होना चाहता हूं ये इंसान को पूछना है अपने आप से so the first step to solve this problem of phone addiction is the awareness that you are using your phone way too much and I'm so glad to tell you that Since you're watching this video, I can confidently say that you are aware of your problem of phone addiction. So the next step to solve this problem is to know the reason why are you using your phone again and again, or why there is a constant need to check your phone. So there were two main reasons why I was addicted to my phone. Number one reason was escapism. Life in general gets boring and mundane, and hence there is a need for escape into my phone. And hence I was using my phone again and again. And the second reason was fear of missing out. There is a constant need to know what's going on in the world, what's going on in raw and real podcast, what's going on with the girl that you. like right so there's a constant need to check the phone because there's a fear of missing out last step to solve this problem is the action that you take to solve the problem firstly you can directly cut off your phone usage or you can slowly taper off your phone usage right to reduce the addiction me personally i took the second approach what i did was i used to switch off my phone at 8 pm i did it for 40 days and after that due to some external reason i had to break the streak even after that i made small streaks of 11 days 10 days or 15 days and today again i am on day one honestly anyhow i was able to get rid of my phone addiction but i would still like to share my experience of day one so the moment i switched off my phone by 8 pm everything just felt normal i knew that i want to avoid my phone but my hand didn't knew that so i'm not even kidding my hand was picking up the phone for no reason and in a minute on an average i was looking at my phone for at least 5 times that actually tells me that how many of our action are actually conscious and how many of them are out of compulsion and i would also like to share my mental state So there was continuous need to entertain myself. I don't know maybe reality in general is a bit tasteless. It's a bit colorless. In terms of neuroscience, Dr. Sid Warrior says that you are generally surrounded by the sources of dopamine. But now when you consciously shut down all the sources of dopamine, what happens is there is a void created in your brain. That is the absence of dopamine. Now what your brain does is your brain confuses this absence of dopamine with sadness and the only solution to this sadness which is actually boredom is to get used to this absence of dopamine because of which what happened is after switching off my phone by 8 pm i really got used to the tasteless nature of life this is how i got rid of my phone addiction with the help of shwetap gangwar and his philosophy I hope you like this video I hope you gained some value. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down if you have this problem of phone addiction and what are you planning to do. It is and this is how Dr. Sid Warrior explains creativity. All this is stupid youngsters. No fab no fab. I did no fab for 180 days. Mm-hmm. I did no fab for 3 you do no fab for 100 years who cares?